Hello there. Uh, so today I am going to show you how to take a Google form and embed it on your website. I know that several people in the comments uh, to my previous video uh, had asked about that. Um, so uh, in that video we covered how to customize the look and style of your form and change it to whatever you wanted basically, any specific style. Uh, so if that's what you're trying to do, then be sure to head on over to that video. Um, but today we are, we're actually not going to mess with how it looks. All we're going to be doing is stripping down the form code and then adding it to um, a blog, a blogger blog, and then also a WordPress blog. Um, so, because those are two very popular tools obviously. So, uh, yeah, if that's what you uh, would like some help with, then this is definitely the one for you. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is head over to Google Drive. And uh, we're assuming that uh, that you already have a, a web form that you've created. Um, so I have several. And uh, pick the one that you want to use. Uh, and then double click it to open it in the editor, which I have open here. And uh, uh, Google Forms has a, uh, released a new version uh, since I did my last tutorial. So uh, you'll see here it says at the top, try the new Google Forms. So it's going to enable that by default uh, if you haven't used it since the update. So if this is not what yours looks like and things are different, then uh, here, let's just cover that real fast so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so you can see that this is the editor looks a, a little different now. So if it's automatically looking this way to you from the get-go, then scroll down to the bottom here into the lower right-hand corner, and you'll see this little question mark. And if you go ahead and click on that, you'll see this option at the bottom that says back to the old form. So we're, and just go ahead and click on that, and that will take you back to this editor. So... Uh, that being said, uh, what we need from here is to click on this button right here in the uh, upper right hand uh, in the toolbar that says View Live Form. And uh, once you click on that, it will open your live working form, uh, which I have open here in this tab. And uh, and so keep all of these tabs, as we go with this, keep all your tabs open because we're going to need to switch back and forth between them a, a little bit later on so just don't close any tabs uh, and so once you're in this uh, live form uh, I use Chrome so if you're also using Chrome then that's easiest uh, and all you have to do is right click somewhere in the screen here and then scroll down to view page source and that will bring up this gobbledygook <laughs> uh, and I know that uh, this can be intimidating especially if you're not very familiar with uh, HTML or markup, uh, but it's actually not as hard as you'd think, and the good news is that we're going to ignore almost all of this crazy talk right here, so, <laughs> uh, um, obviously, this, this is going to be too, I'm going to work through this too quickly, and, uh, without enough explanation for somebody who has just never, uh, done anything with HTML before today, so, if that's you, then, yeah, this isn't going to be too helpful. So that being said, if you know a thing or two about copying and pasting a little bit of HTML, then <clears throat> all we are looking for in this messy document is, so we are we are just looking for the opening and closing form tags. And you don't necessarily have to know what that means. Uh, all you, It's actually uh, a little messy and hard for me to um, find in these. <laughs> so... The easiest thing to do is to go up here in the upper right corner with these three dots in Chrome and scroll down to the Find in Page tool. And uh, to find your starting tag, all you need to do is a, a right-facing bracket and then the word Form. And you'll notice that as you type it, it immediately highlights uh, where that is here. And you can see it's right there. And so finding the closing tag can also be a little tricky. <laughs> Okay, so it's actually, it, it's a little ways up, and it's right here. You'll notice it's in purple. I guess it's kind of on this line alone with uh, all these closing tags. There's a whole line of closing tags right there, you'll see. And uh, we want to stop copying at the at the form tags. So, uh, to make that easy, we'll go ahead and uh, place the cursor right after the last bracket right there, in the closing tag, and then we're going to scroll, we're going to hold the mouse down, we're going to scroll upwards highlighted opening tag right there. OK, 
Okay, so uh, once that's highlighted, go ahead and right click in the highlighted text and click copy. Okay, so uh, I have included a link to this live online HTML editor. Uh, in the description for this video and I'm using it because it's really it's quick and easy and it's really well suited to what we're trying to do right now okay so rather than have to create a new document to save this because you're gonna do that when you add it to your site uh, we're just gonna use this because it's quick and easy so in this uh, in this editor we're just gonna right click and paste uh, what we just copied Okay, and we're just going to paste it, and then you'll notice that down here on the second half of the screen, it's going to display immediately. And uh, so this this makes it a little bit uh, quicker and faster to do all this. So you'll notice that uh, this has stripped out all of the the styling and the template of the uh, the Google Form. So we, we're just, we just stripped it down to the barest elements, and this is actually all we need to make it work. Um, uh, the only, you know, ugly thing about this is that it's a little smashed together, I think you'll agree. <laughs> and uh, also, um, I don't really want this right here to be showing this. This is a required question because all of these fields are, are required on this form. And so if they don't fill them out, they'll get an error message when they try to submit. So, but I don't want it to necessarily say that for each one. <laughs> so, uh and also we might want to add yeah, some spacing between the uh, labels and the input fields so that's actually like super easy to do we just sometimes it's a little takes a little poking around to uh... figure out exactly where to put in a few line breaks but uh... it's easy to fix and so uh... i didn't make a whole lot of changes as you'll see all i did was um, i added some some line break uh, tags to space this out a little um, and uh, what else I removed the, uh, the the text underneath really all I did was add line breaks here that's all I did because uh, and I uh, I aligned it just to the left with uh, the simple form and label style so so that's that is pretty much ideal right here I mean we have it uh, showing up the way that we want to um, essentially our site and since we want it to match our website uh, we actually don't want to add a style to it like we did in my previous video where we uh, chose a style for the form and then uh, completely changed it customized it uh, this once we're adding to an existing site we would like it to blend in as much as possible and it probably will if it's stripped down like this to its barest uh, skeleton so I'm going to go ahead and select everything in this editor here that I've uh, worked on and changed. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And uh, so uh, first we'll quickly uh, show you how to add this to a blogger blog or website. So if you use uh, Google's blogger, then uh, you'll log in and you'll see something like this. And... Uh, uh, new page I'm sorry and uh, enter a title for the form so this one is a schedule your first call form or something like that and uh, make sure in the uh, page editor you have HTML tab selected instead of the compose and then uh, go ahead and right click in the editor and paste it and go ahead and click publish and then you'll see it in this list and when you hover over it you can right click on view and open that in a new tab and you will be able to test out your form now uh, as you can see uh, this pretty much looks how it did in uh, the live editor and uh, that's pretty much how I want it to look so uh, that looks like that went pretty smoothly uh, let's see so if you end up with a sidebar over here on the right uh, like a lot of blogs have, um, then uh, template template menu in Blogger, and uh, go ahead and click on this orange button that says Customize, and then over here on the left, select Layout, and so you'll see that we have that big space over there because it it has space for a sidebar. So if you want to eliminate that, then uh, just go ahead and choose this first body layout, which will make it a full. Uh, width page and then click apply to blog 
and then back to blogger okay and then go back to our page of course and we'll test it by refreshing and now you can see it's it's centered the whole thing and it looks more balanced like there's not a big void over there on the right also uh, if you don't want the comments to be on a page that has a form which I generally don't then uh, we'll go back to that page real quick and we'll edit it and I'll scroll over here uh, to page settings and options and then uh, don't allow or I'm sorry yeah don't allow hide existing for that and then uh, click update and then and then that'll go away as you can see so uh, yeah um, this should I mean I right now this is just a test blog I set up but uh, for the template I think I just a simple simple one yeah yeah looks like it so uh, it should do that with any theme that you have going on this should look okay wherever you put it so uh, hopefully that made sense and so uh, another common uh, tool of course is WordPress so if you are instead using WordPress then it's actually a very similar uh, process so once you're logged into uh, WordPress you'll go again to the pages menu just like you did when blogger and uh, you know you can either create a new page or you know uh, add the form to an existing page this is the one I'm using for my example so uh, and in uh, WordPress it's uh, it's got two tabs up here in the upper right one's visual and one's text so you want to make sure that text is selected instead of visual and then uh, just go ahead and paste that same code here into there and then uh, you can either save the draft or you can publish it either way and then uh, you'll be able to preview or view it on your site okay so uh, this is my website obviously and this is the form over here and it looks like it's pretty much uh, this is a little bit funky as far as the breaks go so I might want to remove some of my line breaks so that this isn't as uh, as oddly separated, I'm not sure how that happened, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's just uh, removing a line break, and uh, so that looks pretty mu pretty much good. Um, and so uh, uh, the last step for either one of these, of course, is to uh, test the live form. So uh, I'll go ahead and publish this for now, so that we can do that, and we'll click on view page. All right, so. Uh, Obviously, you need to uh, fill out all the required fields just to make sure it comes through on your end on your Google spreadsheet. So, I'm just going to enter dummy text here. And choose a random t I will choose my birthday. That's not random. <laughs> and click Submit. All right, and this looks like it was a success. Uh, it's recorded my response, which means it's gone through on my end. Uh, so yeah, I mean, in either case, Blogger or uh, WordPress, it's uh, it's not difficult to do uh, once you have stripped down your uh, your form code to just the barest bones. So hopefully that made sense. Hope it wasn't too confusing. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments, uh, and I will do my best to answer. Thanks.